I didn't feel right, you know, going through her stuff. There's not much stuff to go through here, Opal. When's the last time you saw her? Oh, last night. You remembered SOS. She said she wanted to walk, but then I guess she never came back. I just hope nothing terrible happened. I wouldn't worry. She she likes sleeping in, in hotel lobbies and park benches. Well, I know she says that, but now she's got a place to stay. I mean, why wouldn't... Mom was pretty harsh on her last night. I mean, I think she just, she just took off. I couldn't catch up with her. You mean, you think she left for good? Without taking her clothes or anything? I lent her these clothes. She, she doesn't have any reason to come back. I mean, there's really no reason for her to stick around here. Hey, don't give up on me yet. What? You think I'd let your mom scare me off? Are you all right, Frankie? Yeah, why? Well, naturally, when you didn't come back last night, I... I didn't realize there was a bed check. Well, no, there is no bed check, but um, a phone call would have been appreciated. Right, a phone call. I should have called. I've got, like, no matters at all. Oh, the thing is, I went running last night, and, well, when it was time to come home, it was just too late, so I figured I'd just crash on a park bench. Well, whatever. Main thing is that you're okay. You had Bianca pretty worried there. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Opal. I appreciate you putting me up like this, really. Well, let's, let's forget it. Do you mean any of that? Do you even care about Opal? I care about you. You are worried about me? I wasn't, actually. I just, I just figured you'd moved on. Well, I didn't. I like it here, in spite of the deadly rays your mom was giving me last night. You know, my mom called you a, a con artist and a liar last night, and you told me that she was right. I was mad last night. But is it the truth? Are you trying to con us? Bianca, everyone's part con. Not everyone. Well... I've had to put on acts to stay alive my whole life. And, you know, if I hadn't, I mean, people would have stomped all over me by now. You can't expect everyone to be like you. Like me how? You're one of the few people who are real in this world. I don't know about that. You've always been upfront with me. Except about one thing. Yeah, what? Well, I mean, I would have told you, but I didn't know whether you were going or staying or whatever, so why bother, right? I'm staying. So tell me. I hope you don't have a problem with this. I'm gay. I don't have a problem with that. Actually, it even makes me like you more. Come on, Bianca. I knew you were gay. It's not like you weren't on every tabloid cover for a month. Why didn't you say something? Well, why didn't you? I don't... I, I don't know. It can get weird. I, it changes things sometimes. How? <clears throat> I don't know. People, people sometimes don't handle it well. They disappear. It happens. I'm not going anywhere. So, I don't know, does it make things easier telling people you're gay? A hard question. I don't know. Yeah, for me, it did, I think. Did you think I would have a problem with it or something? No, I thought you would be cool with it. I... It's just more stuff to deal with, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm already hassled enough dealing with my mom, dealing with it. Oh, yeah, it must freak her out. Well, I mean, that's the other reason that I wanted to tell you. So you don't take anything that she says personally. But she would have problems with any girl that I was friends with. Wait, you mean she thinks you and me are... No. And my mom, her head is always going to go there. So, now you know. 
Man, I give you credit, girl. <laughs> you coming out like that and owning it? I can never. Well, you don't have to, right? Hey, I have to ask you a huge favor, okay? And it's gonna take a whole lot more than coming out to the world. Ow, ow, Frankie! You didn't need that cuticle. So I'm guessing that you that you lied to Opal when you said that you could do this. Ow! Jeez, oh. hey. Okay, okay. Hey, dumb question. That part's over. Now the artistic part. Hmm. Passion Scarlet. Throbbing Inferno. I will take Picho Rama. Wimpo Rama. How am I doing? Awesome. Because, you know, while I'm doing this, I'm supposed to be making small talk, so... So go for it. <sighs> All right, uh, so what is it like living with a drop-dead gorgeous supermodel? <laughs> Yikes. Can we talk about something else? Oh, come on, I have to, I don't know, learn how to draw the customer out, right? Not this customer. Besides, you know enough about me. Why don't you tell me something about you? <laughs> me? Who am I? Well, that's what I like to know. So your parents have no idea where you are? I sure as hell haven't told them. Jeez, don't you think they're worried? Well, they're not busting their humps to find me, are they? Maybe they are. Bianca. I have as much use for my parents as they have for me. Maybe they're right. They're ignorant losers, and I'm their kid. You're so... not an ignorant loser. You know that, right? Bianca, I mean, how do you even know if I just told you it's true? Doesn't matter. You'll tell me the truth when you're ready, I know. You're not going anywhere, right? Right. And you promise you're not going to run anymore? I promise. Besides, yeah. I think this is the place for me. I don't think that sounds like a plan. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs>